What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning or afternoon it is already. Uh, and welcome to your daily Bitcoin update. Um, if you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome back. But second of all, uh, what, what we'll be doing in this video is we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin, uh, at my analysis of Bitcoin and what I think is going to happen in the next week, couple of days, something like that. Uh, but also a quick look at what happened in the last 24 hours because I'm doing this daily. So every 24 hours, roundabout. Um, all right, before we get on to the analysis, I quickly wanted to talk about something new going on at our partners at Fairdesk. So Fairdesk is the cryptocurrency exchange I use for my trades. It's one of the best cryptocurrency exchanges I think out there, and it's still rapidly growing with a lot of new bonuses and campaigns. So go check that out with the link down in the description. If you sign up through that link, you can actually get up to a 5,040 USDT bonus right now. If you need any help with that, hit me up. So the new feature they have at this point of time is Arena V2. So Arena V2 is a new feature where users can earn money just by prediction of the price of different cryptocurrencies. So as you can see, you can just say if you think the price is going up or down within a certain time period, and you can use USDT, Ethereum, or coupons. And coupons can be earned in what we just saw at the beginning of the video with the spins. So using these coupons from the spins, you can actually earn actual money by using those coupons in the Arena V2. So there are different ways you can actually get those spins to get coupons. Uh, you will get one by every $8,000 in trading value, which is, if you use leverage, easily achievable by referring. So for every valid invitee, the inviter will get one free spin and by joining other events on social media, like Twitter or the Telegram group of Fairdesk. So join right now through the link down in the description. And as I said, there's also still a special first time deposit bonus of 5,040 as a maximum, which you can access. I do an, uh, an, an update on that and we take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, volume is, is pretty much the same. It's at 25 billion, 26 billion. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not high, it's not low. Um, and if we take a look at Bitcoin in particular, what you can see, and this FIP needs to be updated, is uh, what you can see if we drag this away, this, th th this is still my analysis, all right? So what I expect is that we'll find some more support at this level here between 20,900 and 20,500 um, but that eventually um, I think will drop down uh, lower towards 20,000 find some support at 20,000 and then eventually drop down to this level between 19,000 and 18,700 uh, so I still think that's what's going to happen if we take a look over the last 24 hours what happened yesterday is we actually um, took this touch off of the 236 FIP, as you can see right there. I actually had a, uh, and I'm not sure if I can look it up right now, I don't think so. I actually had a sell limit uh, right here at 21,900. Maybe I should delete that now because that was also partly based on the 236 uh, that used to be at that level. Um, so uh, but that doesn't really matter for this analysis. So uh, I expected that move. Um, but for now, as you can see, we're finding some support at 20,900. I, I, st I still don't see us breaking above this whole level. All right. So there's still that opportunity that one of these moves could, could go all the way up to 22,300. Uh, so something like this. That, that's very possible. But I still think that, first of all, we're not going to break above 22,400. Uh, after we broke down below that, there's, there's enough bearish confirmation to actually assume that um, we've, we've had that bearish breakout and that there's not going to be a bullish breakout soon. Um, that could change. If we hold 20,700 for a, a long period of time, then maybe, uh, maybe in a week we'll start to talk about uh, breaking above this level again. Uh, but to me, it, it doesn't seem possible at this point of time. So I think we could actually touch that level. I don't think we're going to break that. I think for the next few days, we'll still consolidate on top of 20,500 and 20,900. But after that, um, what I expect, as I said earlier too, is a drop down to 20,000, which is a strong psychological support level. Um, but I don't think it's strong enough. I, I, I think it's strong enough to bring us up to 20,700 again uh, to take a break retest uh, and maybe, maybe consolidate on top of 20,000 for a little bit longer. But after that, uh, I think we're dropping down to uh, 19,400 and down to 19,000. Um, so that's what I expect for, for Bitcoin for the upcoming days, upcoming week. That could change, um, but I'm quite uh, confident in, in this analysis. Uh, so if you do have any questions about the analysis or anything I said, please let me know down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.